Saturday, everybody. Welcome to my uh, shoe repair shop. I am Terry Edmonds. Thank you for joining me today on this Saturday. I don't know where you are, what time of uh, day it is for you, but for me, we're joining me Saturday morning. It's about nine o'clock in the morning here in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, I live in Maui. It's awesome. <laughs> and in Maui, we have big feet. We have Tahitian. Uh, Fijians, Samoans, Tongans, hello, even my feet are wide. So I am here to help answer your questions about shoe stretching. And I actually uh, own a, I am a cobbler. I have a shoe shop called If The Shoe Fits. And I am the only uh, shoe repair on Maui, Hawaii, but I also specialize in uh, comfortable shoes for people with really big feet. So I uh, definitely uh, understand your shoe issues. So today I have to do a bunch of shoe stretching and I thought I'm going to have you guys just join me <laughs> because I've had a lot of questions, I always do, and um, I thought maybe we could answer those for you here today. So before I get started, uh, the items in the uh, carousel down below are my favorite. Uh, this morning I didn't have time to add this one in, but it is on my other uh, live videos. I've got the direct link for you. I use this one a lot and I have a special question today from a client about stretching a size 6E, 12, 6E, even wider. And luckily during the, the week I ended up getting a customer who's a size 10, 6E and we have to stretch her shoe so that she can fit her brace in it. So um, that's really great since it's going to answer this guy's question for him. Um, so this is one of the items that you're seeing down below. Another one that I use a lot is uh, the shoe stretch. Uh, you'll see me using that. And I use it with this uh, water bottle and it's one part of the shoe stretch and nine parts water. Then I also have on display for you in the uh, carousel, one of these uh, kind of a basic shoe stretcher. As you uh, search through Amazon, you'll see a lot of options. Uh, I like the ones that have the metal. You really need to something with a metal uh, bar. They last longer. Um, however, I do have one in the carousel that's a pink one and I picked it because it's just so cute. <laughs> um, I, it's, it's um, you know, I'll probably get one for myself just to show you guys because I want one so bad. <laughs> but I do so many shoe stretching here that I have to have a more industrial grade. So. This will be one of the items that's on that list. And with that item comes uh, some little uh, spots. I think that's what they call them. And they can go anywhere on the shoe here, depending on where your problem is, okay? So those are really great. And I've got, a, there's so many on Amazon. They're, they're all pretty good. Just remember to look for the metal bar. And then we have, the ball and ring, the hook and ring, I think they call it. And uh, they're, they're all really good quality. You can't go wrong. This helps with things like, uh, you know, bunions, small spot areas on a shoe. So that's a great one. I use that a lot and it doesn't break. So you, it's always a good one if you're trying to build your repertoire. Then one of the other ones that you'll see there this is a boot stretcher. And uh, today I'll actually be demonstrating this on a client's pair of boots, but it's really nice. It's got a little joint here on the bar and so that it actually goes inside along a tall boot like this, okay? So this is a really good one. If you're a cowboy, cowgirl, and uh, you wanna fix your Ariats and stretch them out more. That's the one I'm going to recommend for you. And then um, another one is this guy right here. Uh, this one stretches the instep. Okay. So if you are having a problem getting your foot into a shoe, uh, this is what you would use that for. It would open this up. Okay. And the other thing, I have one. Um, I don't think there's a specific video for instep stretch, but uh, like I said, you'd use something like this and then 
Um, if that just isn't enough, you can always go to your local cobbler and have them install a zipper for you. I get a lot more men, I don't know why, maybe their, their legs and feet are just wider, but um, they just, you know, have a hard time getting their feet in, and so I just install a zipper for them, okay? All right, so we're gonna do all of these together today, but let me touch on a couple more things. One, I'm Terry Edmonds. I have a YouTube channel where I've done a ton of tutorials, really in-depth shoe stretching tutorials, how-to videos. I also do shoe reviews on that channel. And um, uh, you shoppers know that when you purchase uh, from my carousel that you actually help sponsor my channel. So I wanna say thank you right now for doing that. If you wanna know more, be sure to click the follow button and Amazon Live will let you know when I've got a premiere coming up. So I'll be doing shoe stretching every Saturday. It was my number one YouTube video. I get questions every single week about it from my YouTube. So. Uh, let's go ahead and just get started together. So first, uh, let's go ahead and do, um, I'm gonna start with the size 10. I'm gonna put some of these away for now. Put those right there. Uh, this is another one, um, this is for the hammer toe. If you've got, you know, if you've got hammer toes, you know you got them, <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't know, it's when your toes kind of cross over time, they end up kind of wearing, whether it's arthritis or what have you. So this is really great because it goes inside the shoe and see how it just makes a nice little indentation right there. So we're not, I don't think we're using that today, but the first one, let's move this over here so I have some room. All right, and also um, we'll be, um, I'll be setting up a chat really soon, but probably by next weekend so that you guys can send me your questions directly, okay? All right, so this gal, uh, this is a, a 10 6E, and boy, in my opinion, it's not really a 6E, I don't know. Uh, to me, a 6E should be much wider than that. Uh, so that's why she's got a problem. So this machine here uh, is completely, you know, it's um, self-contained, doesn't take electricity, it doesn't really break, and it's so affordable right now. It's, I mean, it's, I've never seen it so accessible to the general public. All right, so here we go. This is the men's or the bigger size, and this machine comes with these little hooks that go right here. And you need that to make this work. So let's see if you can see. I'm going to come back just a little bit with this to show you. All right. So I guess maybe since this is on the other side, we'll start over here. Okay. So I slipped that on. I'm going to put this little piece over top here like that. And I'm going to hold it in place and you just slip the shoe on top of it like that. So this wheel uh, takes this back leg and it moves it that way, okay? So I'm just gonna do that first because um, it's going to, ultimately, it's going to push this up into here. So that's what we're gonna do. We have a lot of shoes to stretch today, so you're gonna see all kinds of varieties. I thought it'd be a really great example for you guys. Uh, this is also the stretcher. I get a lot of questions about whether um, you can, how much you can stretch the length of a shoe. And ultimately, you can only stretch it as much as the material will let you. You obviously can't stretch the rubber sole. So um, if this person wanted this longer, but I've got a little bit more room to go here. This little knob is telling me. All right, so there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead, this is the width. So it's going to open up the front of this shoe more. So, let's see. Yeah, I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. I wanna know where everybody, from where everybody's watching, what, you know, just a shout out is super awesome. 
Okay. So I can feel this, it's tightening up right here, okay? And just give it a good, good, good stretch. And I'll show you from the front now. So, this one here, we'll just uh, come this way. Uh, like I said, this lady is wearing a brace um, in her foot. So you can see it's giving me room here, room over here. And um, so the direct question that I had from my client was, could he take his 12 6 E and stretch it wider? And I would say yes, because uh, right here, it's kind of hard to tell. I'll lift this a little bit. So this is where my um, measure is. And I still have about another inch to go on here. So that tells me it probably will go up to a 12 pushing it if you're on a size 13. So um, this kind of a, a piece of equipment, like I said, it's being made to, available to the public now. Um, or you can also take it to a, your local shoe cobbler that will have this already. This is just kind of a basic tool that every cobbler has in their repertoire. And I charge $20 for a shoe stretch, so I'm guessing that you could probably get about the same price. I think that my prices are pretty universal. I also have a website, uh, terryedmonds.com, and uh, it has a list of my shoe repair uh, services. I get people to send me their shoes all over the country. I've had a lot of famous customers. Mick Fleetwood has a very big foot. Steven Tyler, he'll admit he's got some pretty tough feet. <laughs> so, um, so if you're on the, if you're in mainland Hawaii, in mainland USA, uh, I think you can also send me your stuff. I just did a video for my YouTube channel, uh, and it's dyeing satin shoes, rainbow, and so she's from, I forget, I think she was from Carolina or something, but anyway. And I specialize in things like handbags, Louis Vuittons, all the brand names. I get all of their, uh, the boutique name brand stores, Louis Vuitton, Bottega, Veneta, Gucci. They all send their repairs to me for people here on Maui. Okay, so what you're looking for is this feel right here. And that's about as much as we can do. So the shoe stretch, this here, won't hurt it at all. Just spritz it. Okay, there we go. So that's fantastic. Now let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay, so this one is a shoe stretch and uh, it's a gal. And I think on this one, we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to use one of these stretchers here. I don't know if you can't really see them in the picture, but so we've got something like this. It looks like it'll, and it might even be too big, but let's just give it a try. So, oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. So now, same thing. I'm going to feel here and we don't need to do the length. You know, um, this will be just fine. I'm going to go ahead and stretch it, open up. And see, this is nice because it has this nice metal. It's like so solid. I, I think these shoe stretchers, I bought them with the business and I think they're probably 60 years old, 70 years old right now. So if you are one of those clients out there that just always have a problem, invest. They're, they're not that expensive. And you could have a whole set of them, you know, and set up a nice spot in your closet or something, you know, and, uh, This one, I am really giving it a good stretch. It's super, super tight right here, okay? That's what you want. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it. Okay? And we'll go ahead and let that set. This is your basic shoe stretch right here, okay? And if this person would have had a problem like here or here, I could take those little metal dots that I showed you and put them on that shoe stretcher and it would, um, you know, hit certain spots here. So there we go. 
Now, um, a question you're probably asking is how long to leave it on. I leave this on at least overnight. And then depending on how much the client needs it stretched, I'll come back the next day and give it another twist. Okay, just to spread it a little bit more, spritz it some more, and let the shoe dry in place like that. So we, this is, this is nice and wet. I could actually put a little more right there. And even though this boot is waterproof, the upper leather will uh, give. It's the lining that makes the boot waterproof. So um, this is really great. This is getting it nice and wet, and then I'm gonna let it dry, and it's gonna dry just like that, okay? So we'll just leave that there. Okay, one of the other things I wanted to say is that I believe in the carousel down below that if they're shown as a pair, you get two of these in a pack. Uh, most of these shoe stretchers only come with the one. And so um, you have to just do one shoe at a time and then switch it over to the other shoe. And I think I only actually have one of this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let this sit overnight and then I'll come back and do the other shoe. Oh, but what a difference, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see from there, but you can already tell that this is stretching here. So what a difference, right? That's really great. She's gonna notice it, and especially when she's out hiking. Okay, now this boot is a hot, hot, hot boot. I love this boot and it, I sell, sell it at my store, but I also bought it for myself and it's so great. It's waterproof and it's from the soft company. Um, uh, anyway, so this gal bought this from me, but she does want a little bit of a stretch. This boot stretches already. I have a wide foot, so I know it stretches. But why let your foot do all the work when you can just get one of these little devices? Okay, so we need something. This one, I'll show you the difference here. Let's see. I wanna make sure I get the right size. This one looks good. That might work. I'm gonna test it and see. So, load this in here, like this, pull this outside. Okay, and now I'm pushing, you can see I'm trying to push it up here. So really, there we go. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn it. Just like the other ones, it's that easy. Um, because this is such a small area up here and this stretcher is pretty small, I'm gonna stretch this spot first and then I'm gonna move it up a little bit the next time around. This boot is waterproof. So again, it's the lining that's waterproof and the outside will stretch. It's full uh, leather. Okay, and besides that, okay, so let's just look at this one here. So you can see this is where the stretch is happening, right? And that's where the foot really is. I don't necessarily have to come right up here because our toes don't go way up into the top. We're not, our feet aren't even shaped like that. Our feet are kind of shaped like a duck. So I really, this is the key part to get right here. This is where your bunions and the knuckles on your feet, um, joints on your feet will end up hitting. So uh, that's what you want to do. And we will just spritz it one more time. And then I happen to have this great uh, system behind me where it's a stand, but I've drilled some uh, screws and then I just take these and they just hang right on that screw. So I don't know if you can even see it. It's kind of hard to see. But I'm gonna show you something else now. So let's say, let's say I didn't have that long stretcher that we just used and instead 
I, I just have one of these, right? This boot's a little easier to get away with it, but I'm going to show you what happens when you don't use the right shoe stretcher. So I'm going to go ahead and close that up. There we go. And this will slide right inside there. And see, this is nice because it has a zipper here, right? But if I were doing it on this boot, this this one without that curving knuckle would press on that, you know, and that's not good. This one we can get away with because it folds over. This is such a great boot. This is by the Soft Company, S-O-F-F-T. So, and then we'll spritz it again, get it nice and wet, and we'll go ahead and let that one hang as well. Actually, I'm going to put this down, let's put this right up there, there we go. Okay, now, um, this one I'm actually going to do the same thing to it, but I'm going to use this machine for it. So. Uh, this, this will have to wait until this one's done. So we'll skip that one for now. And then I have this other one. This is the instep stretcher. And you can see here, um, this is actually a synthetic uh, material. It's not real leather, but it did stretch. And I wasn't sure whether it would or not. Synthetics are tricky. Um, I could have used a, you know, a heat gun on it right and uh, or maybe if you're at home you could use a blow dryer um, but just very carefully like even you know about 12 inches away and just very very carefully checking it trying it and it it'll actually it's plastic so you're gonna heat it and stretch it I do a lot of um, bicycle shoes with that I actually do the bicycle shoes on this one and then put the heat gun on it. And I actually did a video stretching the width, okay? But I'm gonna take this out because I've already had this on here for a day or two. And there we go. So uh, that's a nice one. And see, this is that boot. This is the boot one. So I would use this one on the cowboy boots for sure. This one gets that whole angle right there. So let's put that away. All right, now we've got just a basic flat now. So this one here, I am pretty darn sure that it is a synthetic material. And I can tell by reading it should have so this one happens to have a little uh, pad on it that talks about it. And this is not leather. It says that it's not leather on here. So, uh, but she wants some width. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a shoe stretcher. And I'm looking for one that might work just right. So this is one that I have down on the carousel there. And Actually, if I think I'm gonna skip this one for now. It's just because it has this back on it and I don't wanna mess with that. So I'm gonna go just straight to a normal one. This one should work. Let's see, it might not be wide enough. So let's try another one. Let's see. This one might work. I think that might work, what do you say? So we'll just uh, give it a try. There we go. So we're gonna stick that in there and I'm gonna see the client had uh, just a regular stretch on it, no bunions or anything. And see, it had this elastic. And so when I talked to the client, I said, well, you know, I don't know, cause you got elastic on there, so it might not. But I do think, I mean, it's a perfect fit. Look at that. If the shoe fits, you know, we're gonna try some heat on it cause it's synthetic. All right, I love that, that's awesome. Let's see how we're doing on time, great. So here we go. There we go. And 
I'm just kind of keeping my fingers there because if, if it's too hot for my fingers, it's too hot for the shoe. And this, this elastic is synthetic, so I don't want it to uh, burn. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. I can totally tell it's going to work. Oh yeah. Right there. Perfect. Okay, now, uh, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there overnight. It's nice and warm. You know, I think I'm going to do a little bit more. It's not quite as warm as I thought it would be. things is that let's see if you guys can see that pretty well okay um, so when you're stretching and maybe uh, you just don't want to overstretch it you can never undo that you can always stretch more but you cannot make it small again so uh, something like this so the other thing is is I don't want to rip it from the seams right then I've got to glue this person's shoe or it breaks whatever so uh, just do it a little at a time. Patience is definitely rewarded in this situation. Okay, so there's that one. And then here's another tricky one. This one is completely synthetic and I get this type of shoe in here all the time. So I'm sure that there's somebody out there that has this problem. So uh, again, it's just the real basic stretcher. I think this, uh, let's see what we've got for that. Maybe uh, the other thing that I've mentioned in my video before on stretching width is that um, the stretchers, when you're going to purchase them, they come in sizes. And the size is like zero, double zero, triple zero, and I think there's a one and a two. And I, the, like the zero is size is for men, size eight to ten, eight and a half to ten or something. So. This one I can tell that it is the left side of the, sh the shoe, the pair. So um, this, the one here, is not left or right specific. It's just plain. And uh, that's the one that I put in the carousel downstairs for or down below for you guys. Um, but for me, because I'm doing her shoe, I definitely... Um, I want to use the right one. So here we go. I'm going to use this one. There we go. Put that right in there. All right. And I'm going to stretch it. So the synthetics, It's this is a weave. And the weaves, you have to be careful that uh, you don't burn a hole. It's, they're very sensitive, so you have to be very careful. Just one of the threads could burn and melt, basically. And if you don't heat it, it won't stretch. I've done plenty enough to, to tell you that you need to apply a little bit of heat to it. So, uh, that looks really nice. Look at that, super wide, looks good. And now, we will just apply the heat. I don't like these laces getting in the way. So here we go. Constantly keeping track of that. Oh yeah, that's good. I can feel that now. There we go. So that's perfect. We'll leave that there. And um, as you noticed, I did. Where did I put my shoe stretch? So I did not use this on the synthetics, right? This. In case you're just tuning in, this is the shoe stretch that I use. And I didn't use it on this one or this one because it's a synthetic. It's just not going to make a difference. You have to use the heat. Okay? 
So we have that done. Okay, and I have one more for you guys. This is an extraordinary boot or shoe. And here it is. Check out that Birkenstock. <laughs> okay, this is a size 46. So uh, US, that's a size 13, okay? And this is all real leather. Um, mm -hmm. And I believe it's too tight right here, which doesn't surprise me. It, it looks tight there. So we're gonna do the instep stretcher. Let me find a good one, one that'll fit him just right. Let's try this one. That looks pretty good, I think. We'll see what happens. And let's go ahead and set that there. Oh yeah, look at that already. This is awesome. Oh, perfect. Just a little bit more. Birkenstocks are so durable. I do a bunch of uh, how-to videos on Birkenstocks in case anybody's wondering. All right, so that's pretty good. We know it's gonna lift here, so it's gonna start the lift. All right, here we go. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hold this boot into place, okay? So it's not gonna slip out right? So I'm holding it in there while I'm stretching and you can see the stretch. Um, again, I don't want to, I can tell that it's stressing this area here and I don't want it to pop from the sole, but my, I could say in this instance that Birkenstocks are so well put to like glued together that that won't happen in this situation. But in other shoes, I'd be very careful, especially because glue ages, and as it gets older, it becomes uh, less sticky. So that's kind of interesting. It feels tight right here. That's what we want is for it to be, you know, kind of tight there. And, you know, um, because it's black patent, I'm not sure how my shoe stretch is going to react with the uh, finish on it. I, I know that this is like there's a alcohol uh, element to this and even though alcohol doesn't really stain I don't want it to ruin this finish even making spots you know if it takes off some of that shine. So we're just, and it's, and this is real leather. So this is just taking a matter of time and I'm not going to apply heat to it either. I'm just going to take my time with it and over and over, I'll come back tomorrow, stretch it some more, you know, this, the drill. All right. So I think that pretty much covers a, a whole gamut of stretching issues that you might be having. So, um, we're going to call it quits from here. But thank you so much for joining me and be sure to follow my channel. I love doing videos. It's like the best part of my job. So um, we will have chat next time. I look forward to kind of meeting you guys online. And um, if you're my YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, because I do post this for a later recording on my YouTube channel, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Uh, thank you again. If you purchase anything from Amazon through my little portal, I you support my channel. So thank you and thanks to Amazon for making this possible. All right, you guys from Maui, I send you so much aloha and have a great safe weekend. Aloha. And I'm going to get a clicker for this someday.